The Brother Luminaire 2 XP2 is the most incredible sewing, embroidery, and quilting machine. It has truly taken the industry by storm. It was the very first and only machine that has a projector that's built in that can be used for embroidery placement. In fact, we're gonna, I'm going to show you where you can actually project the design right on the fabric like it shows on the screen here and you see exactly where it's going to sew. But also the projector and the built-in camera has so many other uses. This machine has the largest embroidery area in the industry. It's 16 inches long by 10 and 5 eighths inch. That's over 169 square inches of embroidery area. And that extra large hoop is reinforced with metal and rubber wrapped, as well as a wonderful clamp, a metal clamp, so it's much easier to get your bulky fabric in and out. All kinds of beautiful designs, over 1,300 built-in designs, including 192 designs by Disney that are so beautiful and so well digitized, and the stitch out is amazing. All kinds of lettering, 24 different fonts built in, and all different ways that you can take the fonts and completely uh, uh, manipulate them in le flush left, center, you can arc, you can array, you can uh, take and change the font of just one letter. There are so many things that you can do with this. Plus, it has seven beautiful, large monograms that are just so gorgeous when you stitch out. Now, the key to the, the embroidery on this is how you see your design. And this has a 10.1 inch uh, LCD touchscreen. that has a, a capacitive screen that shows in over 16 million colors. So it really enhances your whole embroidery experience and how you see the design, and, and it, both in, in the way it's on the screen as well as the way it's on the fabric. So it really is the finest when it comes to the screens available on, on the embroidery machines. And the capability of taking a design and doing automatic echoing, automatic stippling, and now all kinds of built-in fills that were once only in the design center now can be accessed right from the screen. And so you can customize in so many different ways. And I'm going to show you that shortly. Not only does the machine ha have uh, some amazing embroidery capability, but it is a full-featured sewing and quilting machine with over 13 inches of uh, room to the right of the needle, 65 square inches of space, and it has a special scratch-resistant finish on the bed of the machine, plus also very a beautiful lighting over the whole bed of the machine. It has automatic fabric sensor, so it senses the thickness of the fabric from going from heavy fabric like this denim to working with your sheer fabrics, working with this here, this is Trico fabric, and it's just so sheer and what works wonderfully with it. But also not just sheer fabric, working with your elastic and lycra. I'm actually going to show you that as well. Uh, this machine has some amazing fabric control uh, on all different fabrics working like a serger. It actually has an overlock stitch and with this, in this case, you see a ribbed collar and a t-shirt fabric. Uh, it just has such great control because the sensor senses the thickness of the fabric and so you get such a great result with it. It also has a digital dual feed and what this does, it is a motorized walking foot system that's a belt drive and what it does, that belt drive doesn't leave the surface of the fabric and you can control the speed of the belt in relation to the bottom. So if you need more stretch, you need more pull, you actually can adjust that and have perfect control on those difficult fabric situations. The projector also can be used uh, working with your sewing stitches, your decorative stitches. You can actually uh, showcase them by projecting them right on the fabric and make your changes, audition the size differences, audition different stitches right on the fabric plus the projected guidelines for doing your, your seam allowance, like for a quarter inch seam, it makes it easy to do your chain piecing, even without using a special foot, although you can use them with all your different feet. So let me go ahead and show you a few things uh, on this incredible machine. So as you see the beautiful lighting on the bed of the machine, and this large area, this large sewing area here, this is actually the embroidery unit, but because I can switch from sewing to embroidery without taking this off, I can use this as an extension table as well. But also, this, this comes off, and we are actually part of the, the special that I'm going to talk about. You get a large extension table with it as well. 
Uh, what you have here, this lid comes off, and this thread stand, this portable thread stand is quite amazing. Part of the problem with working with embroidery uh, a thread and different decorative threads is sometimes you need more room for the thread to unravel. And so this thread stand is portable. It actually is magnetic, so it fits right into the, the top of the lid here. And what this does is I can lift this up, and now I can use my larger spools of thread. I also have a, the thread stand so I can come through and I have more distance from the thread to the needle. And so that, that gives me the best way to have continuous embroidery. One of the things I do want to show here is their true needle threader here. So I can take this here, and if we look at the needle here, take a close up of the needle here, uh, we can see all I do is press the button and it threads the needle every single time. It's truly amazing. So let's go ahead and go to the screen, and I'm going to go ahead and select embroidery. And now it, the machine switches over to the embroidery mode. Now, we have all different types of built-in designs. I have all different categories. And this is a capacitive screen, and that means I can change my uh, icons to larger or smaller right here. And so I can actually take and I can view my different designs, and if I want to see it ahead of time before I stitch it, I can actually see the different thread count, the size. I, I have the complete control to change everything I want before I select it. But I also can go to different categories. I have my Disney categories, all different types, and we're going to go into that a little later. But so many beautiful different designs. I also have the ability to access my designs via the USB or memory. I can access my designs actually from USB, Wi-Fi, I actually, actually can access them via Wi-Fi, or just memory of the machine. And I want to bring in this design right here, okay? And what I like about this, okay, this right here is, is obviously a flower, and I want, to sh I want you to see all the different ways we can change this design. So first of all, the problem with a lot of machines is that you cannot size a design uh, over 10%. Well, this has a special sizing program. And when I go to size, I can actually take this and select this, and it, it actually will recalculate the stitches. What, that, what I mean by that is that if I make it larger, 200% larger, it actually changed it so that there's more stitches, and now it has maintained the same quality. In fact, let's take a look at here, the bed of the machine here. Okay, so that's the standard side. That actually was 7,200 stitches. I increased it 200%. It went to 23,000 stitches. So the quality there is the same. Now the other thing I can do is I can actually change the density. Let's say that design was too dense to begin with. I can change that. But I also can take this and go 70% smaller from the original. And you see on the screen here, I can just scan, I, just, I can just take this with my finger or with a stylus and go down 70% smaller from the original. Now what that did, that went down half the amount of stitches in this case. So it reduced it quite a bit, but the quality's still the same. And that is a powerful sizing program that not even a lot of software programs have. Now let's take a look at the screen again. So I want to go ahead and make it just a little bit larger. Now there's so many other things that I can do right on the screen to my design. Let's work with color. Color is so important. And so I want, I, I'm not sure I like that color. In fact, I want to have more of an abstract. So I can go to color shuffle. I'm going to go to a gradient uh, color selection and I can have it take and choose a variation of different colors based on the type of um, thread I'm working with or color. And I don't think I like any of those, so I'm actually going to go to manual and, and I'm going to choose a variation of pinks. And I, I actually kind of like this one right here. So I can take that and now I can go back and change based on the type of my design. 
So those are the different flowers. Okay, but I don't want that color. I can change that to be green. And I can change this one to be a darker green. And so now I've completely created a different look based on the change in this color right here, but also going with the green. So it's like a tool for creating. But let's say I'm working with a certain thread. Let's say I'm working with the thread that I have here. This is a Floriani shade. And so I want to take this here and I want to change that color to be this color in my hand. And so I can go to the brand of thread and put in the color number 0145. And that just changed it exactly to that color that I had in my hand. That may be not what I want to have, but the point is, is it shows me exactly what I have, and so that way I'm not going to waste my thread stitching it out and find out, oh, crud, that's not what I wanted. Now I'm going to take another design, this design right here. And again, I want to size it. See how that one only allowed me to do 10%, but if I press this button, it recalculates the stitches. Go much smaller. Now, we have more buttons here. And what we can work with here is we can actually start with this one right here. This will turn your design into an applique. And I can choose how close I want the applique to be to my design. And then, what else can we do? Let's take this and make a, a shape out of it. I always call it like a cookie cutter because I'm going to take this and I'm going to send that to memory and use that for creating a, a complete new design. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go and add from my design center. We're going to go into uh, more of my design center later, but I'm going to actually take one of my shapes, and there it is right there. And so that's the exact shape of that design that we had. But I don't want it the exact same shape. I want it to take that shape, and I want to enlarge it. This is just the artwork of that design. Okay, well, maybe not that big. Then I want to take this, and I want to take another shape the size of my hoop, the largest square hoop. Okay. And this right here, this is my line properties, and this is my fill properties. I'm going to start with my line properties and use one of my custom motifs, this one right here. And I can choose a color. And if I press the paint bucket, it's going to turn that into a motif. And so we'll take this here, and let's go next. And I can see the size there. But I, I want, actually, that's not bad. But I, I want it to be a little closer together uh, to fill it in. So I have the capability of doing that. And maybe not so much. So you're in control of that. And you can also flip it around. Actually, I think I like that one better. That's cool. OK. So now, let's go ahead and return. And remember, we have two different outlines here. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to do a fill. Let's do this one right here. Like that. But I remember that I wanted to, it on the inside for a reason. So we're going to go next. And we still can change those things. So for example, 
I think I still want, see now it's at the outline, I still, I want it the other direction because I want it inside. Okay, now we set that, and now there it is. There's my original applique, there's my design, and let's take a look at what this is. A couple of variations I stitched out earlier, but what I like about this is that this is an applique, and I actually put some batting beneath there to make it puff out. So you see there's my motif there, and I, I changed it up, I had a little space there, but you, you can change it as you go. And then the background is a little different background from what, what I showed on the screen. But you can see what you can do with one design. You can create a whole masterpiece. Well, let's do something else here. So we have so many different fonts. All these different fonts here. And what I love about this here is I can take this, and you can see the whole alphabet in one screen. Some of your machines have a much smaller screen. And we have uppercase, we've got lowercase. You also have multiple lines you can work with. Numeric. And you also can delete. And you can even move your cursor and change one letter. So, for example, let's go ahead and change the font of that one letter right there. So, right there, I change that font, and I can also change the spacing of that. But let's take this here, and I'm going to delete all this. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to delete the line. And let's go ahead and array. You can arc, you can array, you can position. You also can set this in the hoop and turn that into an applique. I also have a wide array of beautiful monograms. These are large monograms here. Uh, this right here, look how gorgeous that is here. We have this one right here, and we have others as well. Beautiful, beautiful monograms. But let's take a look at the size of the embroidery area. So that's 16 inches long by 10 and 5 eighths inch wide. It's truly an amazing embroidery area. Now I've taken two designs here. This is the, the two sisters from Frozen and another uh, kind of a scroll that looks like the Frozen theme. But let's say this was something we've already embroidered, which we did, and or we even took it out of the hoop and I wanted to position something right here. This is where that built-in projector makes all the difference in the world. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this on here. So on the screen here, I'm going to come into one of my Disney categories. And because those are the two sisters from Frozen, I think that we want to place our little friend Olaf right in that area below. But we're not sure how he's going to look. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go to, I'm going to take it, I know he's pretty much going to want to come down here somewhere. We're not sure yet. Remember, this could be something that we have already rehooped. So we're not sure how it's going to look. So I go to embroidery, and on the screen, I press my projector. And what it does, it brings up a box on the screen, and 
I can take and bring my box around Olaf. Now, if you look on the fabric, so you can see, and I have different backgrounds, so you can see the white there, and I can show where the feet are. I pretty much can tell that it's not quite centered. So I can position him the way I want it, and the combination of the screen and where it is there, I know exactly that's where I want, to, want him to be. So that truly is quite an amazing feature. It makes your embroidery so much easier. Now we're going to switch to sewing. So on the screen here, I'm going to go home. And if I go to this page right here, it has a feature called automatic fabric sensor. I want to make sure that's on. What that does, it senses the thickness of the fabric. So I can take multiple layers, like the denim you see here, and I, it climbs up over that denim. And then I can sew on very sheer fabric. And then I can sew on uh, lycra or in this case, t-shirt knit and the rib collar. So let's look at the bed of the machine. And here you see this is the digital dual feed. And this is unique in the industry because it's a belt driven device that plugs into the machine itself by this connection. And we have control on the screen uh, as to how fast this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on the machine and show you how well it sews. So now you see it's installed on the machine. I make sure it's engaged. I want to go to my screen and I'm going to um, go to my three-step elastic stitch. Now I'm going to take a situation that's probably one of the most difficult available. This right here is a lycra that's a slinky lycra. It's very loose, very stretched in all directions. Elastic, right on the edge here. Now, when we look on the bed of the machine, if I was to do this on a typical machine, I would have to stretch both ends. Oops, get my shoulder out of the way stretch both ends, and I, there's no way I can guide the fabric. Well, I've shown this on other machines where I put this elastic in the foot. But then on this fabric, I would have to lengthen my stitch length so it moves forward. I don't have to do that on this, because if I lengthen my stitch, it's just not going to give as nice of a look on this fabric. So what I can do, if I look on the screen here, and I go to my settings, my digital dual feed, I want to speed up, speed up the top feed. And what that's going to do by speeding up, that's speeding up, let's go to here, that's speeding up this roller. And so it's going to actually apply more pressure. So if I put this in here, that is going to be faster than my feeding. So what does that mean? I can take this here, I can lower this down, and where I typically would have to have a much longer stitch length, this assures me that I'm stretching on this, it's pulling that through regardless. And so even at a short stitch length, this has ultimate control. There's not another machine that does this as well. 